Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I am Onyx Star Double O and today it's uh, the, this video is not going to be a video about uh, gameplay but instead it is going to be the Hero Guide series. This is actually for the competition that SMC held right now which is um, Teacher's Day event or something about that. But well because this is my first time I am doing my best so that this video will entertain you and at the same time will give you a lot of information about this particular hero. And today we are going to talk about Black Feather. So we are going to look at his introduction. I will take the description from the Vainglory game itself. It says Swash Buckler with Evasive Abilities. That seems about right because Black Feather have two dashes. You well you can tell this just by looking at his abilities. And if you don't know what Swash Swash Buckler means, and this is the definition that I take from Google and from the dictionary. So, in my opinion, Blackfeather is an assassin who can execute his target perfectly, be it in close range or from um, a distance. Blackfeather can also deal consistent damage and burst damage. He also got a unique way to sustain himself in the teamfight. So, well, without any further ado, we are going to look at his heroic perk and abilities right now. So, Blackfeather heroic perk is Heart Drop. Each of uh, Black Feather auto attack and abilities will apply hard drop stacks. Black Feather can stack this up to 5 times on enemy heroes and objectives such as Crystal Sentry, Kraken and Gold Miner, but he can only stack twice to Minion and Jungle Monster. Whenever Black Feather refresh the stacks or add one he add a new one, he will deal 5 to 10 crystal damage that scales with 15% of crystal power. Although hard drop stack doesn't do much damage, but Heart drop stack is one of the main part of BF, but well, we will talk about that later. So Blackfeather uses focus instead of energy for his abilities. The maximum focus that Blackfeather can have at one time is 100. Focus will naturally regenerate 10 per second. BF will also recover 10 focus for each auto attack that he lands. So faint of heart, you launch or dash to the target enemy. You deal damage based on your basic attack damage. You will apply hard drop stack to the enemy based on pain of heart level. If you have crystal power, the damage also scales with 50% of crystal power. Using this ability to the target with max hard drop stack, it will deal additional damage which is 20% of their missing health. The missing health damage also scales with 20% of weapon power. This damage is capped against non-heroes. The target will leave a trail of rows. The Trail of Rose will give you and your allies bonus movement speed if you walk on them and the bonus movement speed scales with 0.6% of your crystal power. The overdrive for this ability is that the Trail of Rose will make you and your allies unslowable. Additionally, this ability cooldown will reset if the target have been killed within the last 0.5 second. Okay, so that's the stats and the information of Pain of Heart. So this ability is what what makes Black Feather a pain in the ass, especially for carry. You know, carriers such as Ringo, Celes, or Baron. Yeah, someone who loves to keep his distance from his enemy. At max rank, not only you will deal missing health damage, but you will also instantly apply five hard drop stacks to the enemy if you overdrive this ability which means you can easily execute the missing health damage. This is the main power of weapon power black feather. Try to use this against enemy with low health. You can deal an insane amount of damage to them especially enemy with high amount of health. The trail of rose will make you an excellent chaser and you can easily dive deep into the team fight to kill important target. Yeah. This ability will make your job easier to, well, to kill um, your enemy, especially that, uh, the enemy that you hate. So on point, Black Feather pierces his enemy, it will deal damage and slows the enemy. The damage scales with 100% of weapon power and 15% weapon power to minion. It also has CP scaling, which is 180% of your crystal power and 70% crystal power to minion. If one point at least strikes one enemy hero, you will gain a health barrier. The health barrier scales with 10% of Black Feather bonus health and it lasts for 1.2 seconds. Additionally, you will recover 35 focus and the amount of the focus recovered will increase 
based on 2% of Black Friday max energy and 50% of Black Friday energy regeneration. On top of that, it will also slow the enemy by 70% decaying for 1 second. However, you can increase the duration of the slow by 0.3 second for each hard drop stack. So which means the max duration that you can uh, that you can do to slow your enemy is 2.5. So the little trick that I use when um to benefit to get uh, some really useful benefit from on points that just uh, if you are um, uh, use this ability on bush on the bush. So it's easy if you get the health shield the health shield or health barrier which means there are enemy hero there and the overdrive for this ability is that it will gain increased range from 7 to 9 and when you overdrive this ability this ability have a pretty short cooldown which is 3.5 seconds which means you can spam this ability you can keep stabbing them and on top of that you are going to deal a ton of damage if you are going with cpbf yeah really really a ton of damage because the cp scaling are much more greater than the wp scaling last but not least um bf ultimate rose offensive bf will dash to the target location while dashing bf will basic attack all enemy in his path during the dash he will also gain fortified health on top of the fortified health he also immune to any crowd control or harmful effects such as stun this ability will deal damage scaling with 50% 50, 50 of crystal power if you have crystal power of course. Um, Rose offensive cooldown are based on charge system and it has to charge which means you can use it 2 times consecutively within a short period of time. At max rank and the cooldown for, um, uh, for each charge is 30 seconds. And Although the name is Rose Offensive, you can also use it defensively to escape from sticky situation because you can use this dash to pass through a wall. The best part of this is when you see a low health target and then you use this move to finish them off with so much style. It is so satisfying. You use Fate of Heart first, uh, followed by On Point and then you finish them using this. It's just so satisfying try try and you will believe me and so let's take a look at these builds as for abilities maxing i will go with fan of heart rose offensive on and on point for wp build you know why fan of heart uh for the missing health damage on point slow doesn't increase with levels so i will leave it there for items i will go with serpent mask for increased uh, sustainability which is lifesteal Breaking point because BF can stay in the fight for a long time and he also have a nice uh, weapon power scaling. Zero blade of course for more damage but that is only my build. You can customize it however you want. Um, Depends on the situation. For crystal power build ability maxing I will go with on point. Rose offensive, fan of heart. On point because of the slow and really nice crystal power scaling. Also because of the increased range, rose offensive and fan of heart for obvious reason. For item alternating current to empower its basic attack and combine that with um, hard drop stack. Broken Mist because it's really easy to get stack and Black Feather crystal power scaling are just awesome. And Frostburn if you really really wanted to slow your enemy off and to annoy them off. Um, combine that with on, combine Frostburn with on point you can slow the enemy for like 90% or something. Well, you can obviously buy Shatter Glass, but if you want that extra amount of slow, then buy a Frostburn. So, for playstyle, um, Black Feather offers you to play offensively and defensively. It also offers you to play from close distance or from um, far. For weapon power, be brave and try to dive deep into the team fight. You can deal a ton of damage, especially to low health target. Just try. Uh, to aim um, at important target, uh, especially carry. You will not have any problem whatsoever to chase your enemy because Black Feather has two dashes, one movement speed buff, and slow. No problem. Um, try to have a good support that can really help you to unleash your potential in the team fight. Someone like Ardan or Adagio pairs really well with Black Feather because of the shield and the heals.
yeah, try um pair up with a support that can really really follow you into the team fight. So for Crystal Power build, Crystal Power Black Friday is my favorite build. It's up to you whether you want to play from distance or up close. You will have no problem to pay to play in close distance because of the crystal power scaling that BF abilities have. From distance, just use on point and poke them over and over and over again. Usually, the enemy hero won't go and chase you around because of this. Whenever you run and you use on point, not only you will get a shield when you stab them, you will also deal a ton of damage with really short cooldown. So, crystal power. Black Fairy damage output is actually pretty high because all of his abilities have crystal power scaling. So as for Black Feather counter, hero with high disruptive power can stop Black Feather completely. Although Black Feather main power comes from his auto attack, but he need to use his abilities to do so. With his abilities, it will make his job easier to land his auto attack. Heroes such as Catherine and Lyra can stop him. Catherine with a stun and silence, Lyra with a snare are just really really annoying. Beware of roots though because BF are dash dependent hero. And also, someone who have a early game power spike can destroy Black Feather. Someone like um, Kestrel or Koshka with their high burst for a really short cooldown, well, are, oh, are just a weakness uh, for Black Feather. And so, for the conclusion and skins overall black feather is a great assassin he have all that he needs to kill his target two dashes one mover speed buff and um uh cc immune and slow he also have great character design as a swashbuckler um yeah so for the skin that we have for black feather is the original skin the nasty bf rare skin and love, love bites black feather special edition skin although um, Black Fed is powerful, but he also got his own weakness, so well, that's fine, that's what makes him balanced right now. So, I think that's all that I can say about Black Feather. If, well, if I helps you with your journey to being glorious, leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Leave any suggestions, comments, questions, or anything that you want to leave in the comment section below. Any comments are highly appreciated because this is my first time doing this type of video. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. I am Onyxta00, signing out.